Good evening again. The death toll from the latest IRA attack in Northern Ireland is now seven British soldiers with another 29 injured. A huge car bomb wrecked an unmarked bus carrying the soldiers near the garrison town of Amar. A four-year-old girl remains in a critical condition in Westmead Hospital after being found face down in a dam at Catherine Field. And in Wales, the world's oldest man, John Evans, has celebrated his 111th birthday. And tomorrow's weather, cloud increasing. As soon as uh, we receive those letters, we will then apply uh, or accept. Deputy Premier Wal Murray says he's unshaken by a violent demonstration against him in Armadale over government education changes. Wal Murray was at the University of New England to attend a dinner for the young nationals. He had to run the gauntlet of 300 chanting and screaming protesters, most of them TAFE students. He was punched and spat upon, missiles and water bombs were thrown, and by the time he reached the reception, the back of his jacket was drenched. The chanting continued throughout the dinner. And finally, New Zealand has handed over a nautical bicentennial gift to Australia. The Akarana, a New Zealand racing yacht which won Melbourne and Sydney regattas near the turn of the century. The Akarana will now sit in the National Maritime Museum at Darling Harbour, where, no doubt, a few can contemplate the next America's Cup challenge. And tomorrow's weather, fine and mild with cloud increasing.